My friends, we are coming up on the end of the month, and you all know what that means. You know it is about time for us to talk about some new skincare releases. So I've been trying to figure out what to do about how much new skincare is released every single month. So I thought it would be helpful if rather than just have the one what's new in skincare video every month, we also have a video trying on some of these new products. And you guessed it, this video is the try on. So let me give you a little bit of a spoiler. I did buy the new Summer Fridays sunscreen. I've been seeing this one get some incredible reviews and I'm always down for a good sunscreen, especially if people call it a dupe of the Tatcha one. And then I got some PR from Dermalogica. They came out with this new Daily Milk Foliant, the Bolden Awake Under Eye Patches that I already mentioned in my empties video, and then from IT Cosmetics, a serum for acne prone skin. But we will start out with the Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant. I got the little tiny PR box for this one, so let's see what they say about it. Fine oat powder, papain extract, so it's going to be using some exfoliating ingredients, which is similar to the last one. Coconut milk powder and vitamin E. Be your biggest supporter. Speak your affirmations while using Daily Milk Foliant and looking into a mirror to shift your mindset while making a shift in your skincare. I gotta confess to you all what I did. This box came with the seal on it. You see the seal? Anyway, I have the product out here because I don't have nails. I don't have nails, I just opened the bottom. It's a very helpful seal. Dispense a half teaspoon into wet hands and I actually have my little thrifted shell for today's video. Well, we sure aren't thrifting the uh, products, so we gotta thrift the accessories, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so half teaspoon. So I'm supposed to be creating a creamy lather. I might be making it too thick at this point. Do you think I'm making that too thick? Add a little bit more water into it. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm forgetting my affirmations. Um, I affirm that we as a world will continue to discover that the secret to unlocking the mysteries of the universe is a greater advancement in scientific knowledge. Um, yeah, science is great. Okay, I think I, I think I got my affirmation done correctly, right? Was that how to do it? I am liking this so far. I typically, I typically do like Dermalogica's cleansers. They do a good job on them. I did notice that this one has some fragrance ingredients, so do note that. However, that usually works just fine for me in a cleanser, and it doesn't doesn't actually have that strong of a smell. It smells a little more like oatmeal. In fact, I actually thought this might be like using the Sioris one, but it's quite different. It actually, uh, let's see how to describe this. It makes a really nice consistency, whereas the Sioris option you have to mix into another cleanser. I will rinse this off and be right back. All right, I've done the rinse and I've got to tell you all that is actually a very nice cleanser. Again, not that I'm surprised. Dermalogic is good at those. Uh, then I'm using my Essentry Onion Toner again, which I've used in two videos now, but that video review will be coming next week. You know, speaking of affirmations, I actually do want to affirm something in today's video. I kind of, I guess I want to talk a little bit more about voting in America. I know we have a lot of viewers that are not American, so I won't make this too long. If you missed my thoughts on everything that happened Friday, check my community tab. I did make a post about it. Uh, funny enough, that's a post that I have to do via text. I can actually never verbalize what I said in that post or what I typed in that post. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the new IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Serum, and I'll explain to you what else happened internally. I, I hope that uh, you know, it wasn't too stressful of a weekend for all of us, but I feel like it, it might have been. So, I found myself just feeling so down on both Friday and Saturday, and I was really feeling like, what's the point of voting? Why do we bother if this is the kind of thing that happens? No, we didn't vote in this case. You know, the Supreme Court justices, that's not something we vote for. But, you know, I had to really work through it and think, and yet it still is impacted by who is in office. And you know, I checked the statistics on how many people voted in 2020, which was a, a historic turnout of US voters. And even in a year where we had historic voting numbers, it was still only about two thirds of Americans. 
I feel like we need to figure out how to address this better. How do, you know, especially for those of us that vote, what do we do to get this other third of Americans to vote with us? And honestly, after thinking a lot about this, I think that one of the best things we can do is rather than try to individually reach huge numbers of people to turn out to vote, I think it will be more helpful if each one of us tries to focus on people that we know in real life, in person, our neighbors, our friends, and try to help them to accomplish this end goal of voting, which might mean explaining to them why it's important. Maybe it means, you know, giving them a ride there. I wouldn't be surprised at all if in upcoming elections with gas prices being what they are, if people simply don't want to drive out to the polls because of how expensive it is. Did I gain some 11s this weekend? Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta get some Argyroline. I guess I did do quite a bit of scowling over the weekend, but we'll do what we can about that. I'm gonna name these guys Thomas and Clarence. All right, that's it with the political talk, though. Again, you know, I'm not really that well-versed on politics myself. I just, I just really wanna live in a world of equality. That's it, real, true equality. This bye-bye breakout, first of all, first of all, this is $29 which is very reasonable for a cosmetics. 2% salicylic acid, of course they're calling it uh, an acne product, so they do have to disclose the active ingredients on the panel, that is a US law. And then 3% lactic acid, and look at this y'all, look at, do you see this wording here, postbiotic ferment? You got it right, it cosmetics, yeah, it's post. It's postbiotic, it will always be postbiotic in skincare products where it is joined with preservatives to preserve that product. And yet postbiotics can potentially be beneficial. Amazing. Look at this ingredients list, look at, it's no added fragrance, super short, can you believe that from it cosmetics? I mean, this is, it's actually really nice. And no stinging, because 3% lactic acid is not too high. That's a really good level, especially to pair with salicylic acid, where you most likely will have some kind of a, a synergistic effect from those two ingredients. Absolutely amazing. And then let's try on these Bolden Awake Under Eye Patches. I think they might have actually released these a couple of months ago, but I'm late to the game here. I had no idea these are as nice as they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these on because these are supposed to be left on for 30 minutes. So they come packaged like this and they're actually, y'all, they're actually sticky. Is this something I can convey on camera? I don't know. <laughs> I can once they're on, right? Yeah? I always try to point this out anytime we're talking about these sticky patches. Make sure that you don't have any kind of a glue allergy because my own sweetie has that allergy and she has not done well with not this brand, but the Skin Iceland. My poor sweetie, she had such a bad reaction. Her eyes were all red and swollen, poor thing. But anyway, let me tell you a little bit about this product and this company. So Bolden is a woman of color owned skincare company. They wanted to make skincare products that celebrate women of color, which I think is fantastic. You know, how often do you buy a skincare product and actually see women of color represented on the packaging? That's really exciting. But look at this also, it's made in Korea. How interesting is that? No fragrance, no dyes, and you know, again, such a different approach to uh, treating your under eye area, those brightening ingredients, but in a, a little bit of a more gentle way. But also potentially better choices for anyone with a more sensitive skin type as well. These are absolutely incredible. They did give me a discount code, a discount affiliate code, Alice in the Rabbit Hole, if you're interested in these. But yeah, I'm super pleased. I guess I will allow myself the 30 minutes to let these sink in, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I did some stuff, had some snacks, started thinking about how funny it is that I've never worked for the Quaker company. It, it's so funny how, uh, you know, whatever field you work in ends up affecting you in really odd ways. One is, I can never just eat a snack. I always look at the company and go, have I worked for them? Uh, so, oh, I still need to put on some moisturizer. So I'm going to use the Essentry Mugwort Cream next week. Next week, I'll give you the review. 
I regret that I didn't put the moisturizer on while I had my eye patches on. That was just, that was kind of poor judgment. I definitely should have let it sink in before we get to the sunscreen, but I guess we'll just, we'll have a quick chat about this first. So this is the Summer Fridays Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. 9.40% zinc oxide. Well, that is quite precise. We don't usually see that. And uh, is it fragrance free? I believe it is. Well, this is actually a remarkably short ingredients list, especially for a mineral sunscreen. Kind of messed up my pouring there. It looks like a big exclamation point. Oops, well, no. It merged into one long line. You know what's funny though? This is what's unreliable about the two finger application. Now we're up to one and a half fingers, depending on your finger length or anyway let's just get to it let's let's see what happens oh Ooh, this one might be nice mm. skincare videos taken out of context could be very strange couldn't they this is a first impression by the way have i made that clear i don't know if i've made that clear enough in this video i had tried the it cosmetics before as well as the bolden but that's it it's not any kind of long-term reviews here but oh my goodness let's let's do the second finger as up close as i can for you all can you see this let me make sure i get my eyes today because i definitely did not do a good job of that in my can make video because in all truth immediately after that i washed it off <laughs> i washed it off it wasn't there was something that wasn't going well with the green again specifically there's a danger in first impressions though, and that is that you sometimes can only see the good. You know, I need to make sure that this isn't gonna cause any long-term problems on my acne-prone skin. So I don't wanna get too excited, but also, I see why this is getting so much hype. That is the closest application I've seen in a mineral sunscreen to the $60 Tatcha sunscreen. It's shea butter. It's the shea butter I smell. That was quite a revelation moment. That's what it is. I smell the shea butter in this. You know how shea butter has that, that slight nutty smell? That's what this smells like. But that is it, my friends. That's all we have for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And for all of you who also had a little bit of a rough weekend, let's do our best to stay positive but productive. Let's get our friends out there to vote. Let's help them to accomplish that. And make no exceptions to ourselves. We must also vote as well. I hope you all have a great week. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.